Well, hey there, kids, and welcome to another episode of Learn BMX Racing. Now, many times when I go to the BMX track, there are people there who need to do some sort of repair on their bicycle, right? It's a very common thing. Whether you're just tightening something and adjusting something or having to fix a flat tire, there's always a need to have some tools at the track so you can work on your bike. So this episode is all about what to have in your tool bag. So let's start out with, well, the tool bag itself. <laughs> I have a small duffel bag from Best American Duffel. And I really like these bags. They're made in the United States. They're really good quality. I have them for a number of different things from cleaning firearms to holding <laughs> bicycle tools. So let's start out with the tools that you're going to need the most down to the tools that you'll need the least. All right. So on my bike and on most modern BMX bikes, just about everything on the bicycle is adjusted with Allen wrenches, also known as hex keys. So the first thing that you should definitely have is a really nice hex key set. Okay. This is a Bondus set also made in the United States. I really like this set. The thing that's nice about it is not only are there a huge amount of sizes, everything from three millimeter to three and a half millimeter. It's actually got half sizes, which is really cool and something I don't see in a lot of sets, but they're also incredibly long. And the nice thing about that, of course, is that it allows you to have a lot of leverage on things. On my bicycle, gosh, almost everything uses hex keys. I mean, I can adjust the grips with hex keys. The uh, brake lever itself is attached with hex keys. Allen wrenches adjust the neck. They adjust, heck, the brakes in the back. They put on the brake pads. They even adjust the pinch bolt that holds the brake cable. I can even take the pedals on and off with hex keys. You also use Allen wrenches for changing the front chain ring. So it's used for a heck of a lot of stuff. After your Allen wrenches, I would say the next most important thing is probably crescent wrenches. And I have quite a few in this bag. Now, the crescent wrenches, crescent wrenches are also made in the USA. They're made by Wright Tools. And what I do is I get two of every size that I need, okay? at least for the axles. And the reason that I do that, for example, here's, here's two 15 millimeters, okay? And the reason that I get two of them is because it makes it much easier to adjust the bolts on your axles and to tighten them up when you can do both at the same time, okay? So that's why I definitely recommend that whatever size your axle bolts are, you get two crescent wrenches in that size. So I've got some 15s right there. I have a pair of 19s for another bike that has larger axles. And I've also got a 14. This is for actually the uh, stem bolt on a different bike. And then finally, I also have this 10 millimeter which on this bike really doesn't get used for anything <laughs> except the little bolts here on the chain tensioners. So that's what the 10 millimeter is for. So crescent wrenches, very important because you can't take your tires off and replace a flat without them. Speaking of replacing a tire and fixing a flat, the next most important thing that you're going to need because that's probably the most common thing that's going to go wrong is a good tire pump. This is a Rausch tire pump. This is made in Germany. And the thing that I like about this is that the whole thing is metal. 
the actually the attachment up here is plastic but everything else is machined aluminum so that is a really nice pump and because that pump does not have a tire gauge on it i also have this separate tire gauge so that i can check the air pressure after i use the pump and the other thing that you want is some plastic tire levers and these are just used to pry underneath the rim and get the tire off a little bit easier when you're changing the inner tube so those are definitely the next most important things because it's something that you're going to adjust quite a bit or at least have to fix quite a bit that's what i should have said fix not adjust I would venture to say that the next most important thing, the thing that you'll probably do quite a bit of, is adjusting your brakes, okay? So if you need to put on a new brake cable, let's say your brake cable snaps and you got to put on a new one, uh, you're really going to need something like this, a pair of pliers. Now, these pliers are made by Klein Tools, and the exact model number on these is the, what is it? These are the J2000 nine NEs. And the reason that I like these is because they're also made in the United States. They've got a nice plier section here at the end, but there's also wire snips inside and you can use that to cut your brake cable and cut your brake cable housing so that you can adjust the length if you need to repair the brake cable. And then with the pliers, that's what you use to pull the tension on the cable. So definitely something that you need for adjusting and repairing brakes. I would say that the next most important tool after that is this. This is a chain breaker. This is a chain breaker from a park tool. It's made in the United States. And this is of course used if you need to put on a new chain on the bike. So very important tool, not something that you're gonna need a heck of a lot, but when you do need to replace a chain, it's kind of hard to do it without one of these. Now, if your chain ring, speaking of the chain, has chain nuts on the back of the bolts, you're gonna need one of these tools. This is also from Park Tool. This is the CNW2 is what it's called, and it's basically a little tool that allows you to hold on to the nut on the back of your chain ring while you tighten or loosen the bolt on the front. Now, my chain ring is actually machined with threads, so I don't need the bolts, so I really don't need this, but I keep it in my tool bag just in case. If I ever had to replace a bolt and replace a chain ring and didn't have it, or if somebody at the track might need to use something like that, I at least have one. The last thing that I think is essential is having some of these, some spoke tensioners. And these are from Park Tool. These are different sizes. These red ones are ones that you can use on a BMX bike. This blue one is a little bit larger in size. So this is what I used on like a beach cruiser bike that I used to have. And I still just have the tool sitting around. So spoke tensioners, again, not something that you'll need a lot, but they're great to have just in case. That really covers all the essential stuff. Now let me show you a few kind of extraneous things that I also have. I also have this bag that's, <laughs> it's a whole bunch of cable end caps. Um, I will probably never need all of these in, in my lifetime, but you know, they cost like two bucks or something for a pack of like a hundred of them. So I said, okay, what the heck? I also have a bunch of clips for the brake cable. Got a bunch of spares of those. Again, something I probably won't need all that much, but it's just something to have. I have a few extra axle nuts in here. I've also got, this is a different uh, spoke tensioner. Have that as well. Also threw in some extra links for my chain have a new chain in a box, have a plain old crescent wrench, just a small one. Again, probably would never use this because I have the other ones that they're the exact sizes. 
Two more tools from Park Tool. These are just, again, some Allen wrenches. So we've got this one that's in a bunch of different sizes. That one is metric. This one is regular United States English measurements. And then finally, we also have this tool, which is a multi-tool. And this is something that you really should only use this in case of emergencies. This is not something that you want as like a replacement to replace all these other tools or something like that. This is something that you would just carry with you like on a bike ride, okay? So in case you had to do a quick little repair, some little thing went wrong with your bike, if you had one of these, you can do a heck of a lot of stuff with it. So it's got a whole bunch of crescent wrenches. It's got a bunch of Allen wrenches. The thing comes apart like this, and it actually has a chain breaker as well. It has oh, a little screwdriver here. It has even regular Phillips screwdriver on this side. It has another little crescent wrench that comes apart. So these are great tools, like I said, for some kind of emergency situation where you just have to do some really kind of quick repair to your bike. But again, not something that I would use on a regular basis. You know, I wouldn't want to use the Allen wrenches in here as a replacement for Allen wrenches like these because these are just so much easier to use. So there you go. There, <laughs> there is an overview of all the tools that I have in this little tool bag. I highly recommend that you do something like this yourself. Put together just a little bag of tools to go with all the stuff on your bike that you might need to change or fix while you're at a BMX race. So thank you so much for watching and never forget kids, your good old days are happening right now.